G'day. In today's video, I've got an Alienware R or X2 R1. This is running an i5-4790, I believe. And I want to delete it. So what are we going to have to do from here? We're going to have to get it out. Probably have to give it a dust blowout, according to this bug that's living here right now. But being this is about a eight-year-old machine, it's highly likely that the thermal paste between the IHS and the silicon is completely toast. So because of that, thermal extraction is not as good. One thing to note here, the fan placement is reverse of what a normal Intel cooler is, where it's normally pulling the air down. Instead, this is sucking the air up from the board and blasting it out the back vent over here. So slightly different. This does have 16 gig of RAM, a 240 gig 2.5 inch SATA SSD, and a one terabyte 2.5 inch hard drive. So looking at it, just here, this is the thermal paste on the outside, and we're not looking good. So the thermal paste on the inside is really not going to look good. Let's zoom down here. And get out my eBay spec or AliExpress spec de-lidding tool. To begin with, I want to wipe off the thermal paste that's already there so my hands don't end up absolutely covered. Thermal paste or thermal paste dust. There we go. Now, what I'm wanting to do is go around the outer perimeter using this to hopefully slice the firm or the, the adhesive holding on the IHS. And then after that, I will use the delid tool to apply pressure horizontally, which in turn should pry it open or off from there. This is about the fourth or fifth one that I've delidded. Granted, if my razor blade was in better condition, this would be a lot easier. Okay. So that should be hopefully enough around it to be able to do it. And then unscrew this. Uh, typically, I've sit it in it. This way, so the chips are going horizontal, oh, vertically. I'm following along the groove. It's a matter of putting this back in. Put it in the right way. There we go. Tighten up and keep tightening until it goes crunch. There we go, I'm feeling movement there. And from here, we are free. I'm gonna give the case a blowout, and then I'm gonna replace the thermal paste on this. So now with the delitting done, I'm going to put some isopropyl alcohol on here, clean the IHS. Okay. Looking much better. Now the IHS. 
integrated heat spreader, which is Fennel Pace has seen better days. From here, I'm going to put some MX4 thermal paste on there. If I can get into the box. There we go. Put some of that on here. Let's spill a little bit on the chip. Use its little spatula. Spread. There we go. They're quite beautiful. That'd be right. Now I'm going to use some of this. Just stick the heat spreader back on. And from here, I'm going to put it back into the socket. much as I want to leave, ignore it, a little bit of thermal paste just on a couple of the capacitors there. There we go. Let's use one of these as well. Okay. Now I'll put this back on in this way. And the idea is going to be one over here is that the pressure of it being in the clamp will settle it down anyway. Yeah, okay, there's a bit of thermal paste floating there for some reason. Now if we go back to here, should be able to drop it in. Drop it in, clamp it, there we go. Put some fresh paste on here. Spread the bugger around. Beautiful. Next up, remove the thermal paste on here. There we go. Copper slug, that's what I like to see. So without doing actually any testing on here whatsoever, I would pretty much expect this to help drop the temperatures by about 10 degrees. Worst case, about five. Best case, 15. So in turn, it should be able to extract the heat out of there a lot quicker. And then in turn, run a lot cooler. Which in such a small form factor would be nice. Funnily enough, this is also a random as a Dell 80 centimeter fan. Or at least I think it's an 80 centimeter fan. Um, it looks like it could almost be replaced with another fan from there, except it's like a half height. So if you want to get extra fancy, you could probably put like a RGB fan on there. But being this, it's gonna have a side cover on it. Most of it gives a bit of light shining at the back over here. There we go. Go. So that will do for today's video. I will be also pulling out the, the RX 745, uh, 
GT745 4 gig model, I believe this one is. And replacing the thermal paste on that in a, in a moment, but for now I'm going to put this back together. And this should hopefully run a little bit cooler, which definitely can't hurt. Well, potentially could if you screwed up the deleting process, but that's never here nor there at this point in time. There we go, that on, put this on. So as you can see, it just ducks the hot air straight out the side. And there's really nowhere for it to go. Connect this up to here. Out of there, feed it into there, and side panel slide back on. Try and slide it back on. Very stubborn. Anyway, that will do for today, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.